Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the new Daryl Dixon episode. This is episode 3 already, which means that after this we're already halfway the season. Before I start, I want to tell you that you can get early access to all of my reactions on my Patreon. And you can also see the uncut versions there, so my full reactions to the episodes. The link is in the description, so check that out if you're interested. Also, like I said, I went to Paris this weekend. Sadly, I did not run into Daryl, but... It is what it is. The last thing we saw was that um, they met the children in school. And then in the end, they went on with their journey. I think they're going to Paris soon, actually. Um, but the last thing we saw was the flashback of um, how Laurent was actually born. And that, um, I know her name now, Isabel, that she appears to be... Um, his aunt actually. It was really nice to get some backstory on her. I have to say it, it gave a bit more depth into the story. Like it's nicer when you start to understand the characters a bit better. So I hope we're still gonna see flashbacks. I don't exactly know about what but flashbacks are fun and give me more insight in the story. So that's nice. Also I have to say in the first episode we saw this um, scene of people on a boat who were experimenting on walkers and who apparently ran into Daryl Dixon. Uh, I think he was their prisoner, actually. And we haven't really seen anything about that anymore in the previous episode. So uh, maybe we'll get to know a bit more about that as well. And for the rest, I think that was about it. So I think I'll just watch it. This is the town of Angers. We can radio from here and get directions on where we can go next. Take this. We'll take the horse. Yeah, maybe don't let it go this time. What are they going to do in there? Contact here as a musician living in this theater for years. Oh. Because John? Is that him? Let's come about the radio. Anglais. I speak. Sky blue. Grass green. Radio. Come on. Please. Come. What a weird guy. Now, we hear music. Get it going? Going? Yeah. Oh, no. Plus maintenant. What? Do you like a show? The fuck? I use some parts for um, amplification. I don't know what to think of this guy. It's a bit shady. Ah, well, that was he talking about. <laughs> Please, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is he gonna dance in the theater? I mean, he did ask if they like a show. <gasps> what? Oh my god. The people in France are even more crazy than the people in America. This is not the first person who's keeping walkers. And this is only the third episode. What the <laughs> Oh, it's like I'm back in Disneyland. <laughs> I mean, do you pay them? <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Uh-oh. It's just one, right? Well, mostly when there's one, there's more. The way he's looking at them, like, you see this? <laughs> Girl, that's gonna make a lot of noise. Is he carrying another walker? The walkers get more weird every episode as well. Did it your way. Now we're gonna do it mine. <laughs> we're going to Paris. She really couldn't shoot the walker? I mean, she was a child when this all started. You would think they would grow up with this, right? But I mean, if you've seen The Walking Dead World Beyond, I don't have that much faith in the youth. <laughs> Will they be hungry ones in Paris? Imagine so. Like Why would they not be there? Oh. The Eiffel Tower. Welcome home. <laughs> Nice. Mother's high school, Laurent, right after this bridge. Does he even know she's his aunt? Probably, right? Pouvoir des vivants. The movement that started after the outbreak. In desperate times, people think to order. Yeah, or God. What is it? Jim Morrison. He's an American rock star. He was in a band called The Doors. He died in Paris. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I didn't know that. Like, I know him, but I didn't know he died in Paris. You will not die in Paris. <laughs> Just to reassure you. <laughs> oh, they're the people we saw in the preview, right? 
So everyone just knows about this? My name is Falu. That is Emil. Bastia Nadine. We've been waiting a long time to meet you, young man. <laughs> He's like, what do all these people want from me? It's funny because I was pretty good at French in school. And every time they just say small sentences, I can actually understand them. So that's nice. It's Paris crying. I'm really waiting for a show in the Netherlands and then people just talking Dutch and then not giving subtitles and then being the only person who can understand it. Because this must be funny for French we people to watch, I think. We welcome our 64th member. The baby girl was born. Dining room. Here's the kitchen. Looks like a nice community. Oh, I thought he was talking to Isabel first. <laughs> I was like, I don't think that was actually her plan, was it? I watched the movie, so... Looks like you got the tip knocked off of Military helicopter crashed into it at the beginning. Oh, shit. When the winds blow, the motor grows. It must be magical to stand on the red. How about that radio? Ah. Hey, voila. You have been using this method of communication. So they uh, actually do have a radio? You know, we are homing pigeons. Quelque uh, soit à distance, uh, they always find their way, their way home. Uh, he knows where he goes. Maybe he has a girlfriend. <laughs> yes. The pigeon? Yes, my. How long until that thing comes back with a message? Sometimes uh, bad weather. Uh, Could be a month. Month. Well, the nest will take you the rest of the way. And my job's done. Oh. Because that ain't gonna work at all. If you don't have a radio, how are you gonna help me? So really, no one has a radio? I think I know where to find something. It's kind of a lot to put on a kid, don't you think? Yeah. God chooses our burdens. Who is that? Sonia. Her husband died a few days ago. No one's been able to console her. They really want to make us believe that the guy is actually special, right? Was right. <laughs> that was like, was he? <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting about this guy and then he shows up. <laughs> is that the woman from the boat? Oh, they don't even know each other yet. This tape really keeps haunting him now. Is that a joint? <laughs> The way everyone just keeps blaming Daryl for their own mistakes. It's wild to me. Like his brother literally attacked Daryl. Or well, maybe not exactly, but he was trying to steal stuff from them or something. I don't fully remember, but I mean, if he just would have left them alone, nothing would have happened. But why were they on a boat before and now not anymore? Oh shit! I really wonder why you do that. Like, experiment on these things. Like, unless you're trying to find a cure or a way to, like, kill them all, why would you even want to make them stronger? Get noisy neighbors. Yeah. She was always trying to set me up with her son. Oh, this is her old home. I only just realized. Ah, that guy. I was Quinn. I was young and very stupid. He upgraded. <laughs> Upgrade. With God, I mean. <laughs> Upgraded with God. Yeah, it's maybe. Your horse never seen her face. Is that why we're here? It must be weird to be back there after all this time. I had something to trade. Get some oh. information on Wasn't always a nun. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I'm just imagining that, like, running away from your home when the apocalypse starts and then being back there after so many years. Seeing, like, your old belongings and all, and but it's all broken and forgotten, actually. Weird. We should get gone. I'm kind of scared she's gonna run into people she knows. Oh, hi, neighbors! <laughs> Did they just follow them? Because I think they went in there, right? Yeah, I thought we were gonna see this. Because for some reason people were already posting that picture. She was the girl on the like scooter thingy. 
And I was editing it and I still didn't see the scene. So I thought maybe it was just in a preview and I missed it. So I think that was the case then. That is so fucked up. Oh, she's been there for a while. Oh, shit. Suicidal walkers. Oh, it's the burning kind. Oh. I really wonder how all of this like happened. As in, do they just experiment on the walkers and then let them go and, and be like, yeah, reproduce. <laughs> Kill the girl now. No, right? No. Oh. Oh. Stop. That is so messed up. I kind of wish I hadn't seen that promo picture, but I don't know why. Why it was already there. Sorry about that little girl. I left her. Yeah, I mean, if you would have taken her with you as well, the boyfriend really wouldn't have taken any of you. So. Now, with my mother. <laughs> <Mom is pretty. laughs> it's so cute how he instantly runs up to Daryl to show him. <laughs> if there is a deal to be made, this is the place. Vos armes dans le congèle. What the hell? The cafe comes, brother. The man that remains ah. with six million who died in the Black Death. America is an infant. But here we survive many apocalypses. We will survive this one too. If it ever ends, which it won't. Ah, uh, Slay? That looks fun. They just have an underground club. Les garçons, les filles, les autres aussi. Votre attention, je vous prie. I can't believe they just have this. I don't know what it is, but she kind of reminds me of Evan Rachel Wood. Not that she really looks like her, but it, I think it's just the hair and like the performance. I've seen videos of Evan Rachel Wood performing with her band, so... Why is the guy so tall in the back? He looks like the creepy guy from, from Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, she really reminds me of her. I don't know what it is. I want to go to America. Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. Let's know what we've got. Imagine accidentally ending up in Europe while you live in America and then just kind of being stuck there. Oh, 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 oh. Well, <laughs> both first. Honestly, don't pull that shit with Daryl. A lot of people. Oh, is that the X? Oh my god, it's the X. Oh my god, I did not think he would like survive at all. Hi, Izzy. It's been a minute. I wonder what he's gonna say if he sees Laurent. Is he gonna talk to her? You sing very well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are those your parents? This is my mother. Very pretty. I like a necklace. Someday, I'll see the Eiffel Tower myself. I mean, he did see it, right? Like my mom did on her birthday. Yeah. Huh. To remember her. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Imagine just a random kid coming up to you. In a place like that. Probably haven't seen kids in a long time. Oh, that would be a good life. The lady gave me her necklace. Oh, shit. What Is it yours? That's Laura. Lily's boy. Lily's boy. Yeah, the one you wanted to leave behind. She was just having a good time. Girl's probably never been to any club in her life. I mean, we've seen her in the beginning of the apocalypse. She was just a child. Hello, boss. I said, love. You send it up. Where are your friends? Business. Still an asshole, I see. This is where the generals hid away during World War II. Used to love champagne. I grew it. 
I wonder how he's gonna react if, if she tells him she was a nun. I became a nun. You serious? <laughs> Lily. Lily died. Having the baby. You still should have told me. That my sister died. That, that she was pregnant? I had a son. <gasps> what? What are you talking no! about? No! You shouldn't keep that from a man. I don't care the circumstance. A boy should know his dad, shouldn't he? So that's why Lily didn't want to tell her? You killed her. And I saved you. Found you bleeding in the bathtub. Picked you up, carried you to the hospital, nursed you back to hell. What? That was me. You want to help him? Now it's even like... A bigger asshole move okay, to like... He wanted to leave her behind when he found out she was okay. pregnant. And he knew it was his child. I am so confused, this guy. What the hell? Oh my god, what a plot twist. Look, we all got shit from our past that we're trying to run from, not just you. I was wrong earlier. We're not the same, you and I. I'm not the one you're really mad at, though. Well, you wanted to come to Paris. I don't need a hero. I never did. Oh my god, imagine finding that out after like, how old is that boy? 11 years. This looks like such a fun place. Oh, and it doesn't look that fun anymore. Instantly. And he's gonna give him to them. Because he's pissed off now by him. Luckily they were already out of there. I think that was the reason I had to come to Paris. To see him again, to find out the truth. Alright, well, you're welcome. Don't be like that. Something up. You're really good at that. <laughs> what are you gonna tell him about Quinn? Because you need to stop lying to him. I mean, he barely knows Quinn. He deserves to know who he is. He's and I man. don't think they're gonna He's like go back to him on purpose. Right? He's a gift from God, right? Maybe that's something you need to believe because the world's so fucked up. Maybe he's just a regular kid that got lucky and lived. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> I already wanted to say, when they started to fight right next to where he was sleeping, I was like, he's gonna wake up right, and then they're like, talking about him. Okay, he led them straight to them. I can't believe because of one random encounter, he pissed off this guy who's just after him constantly now. Uh, guess she'll have to jump now. This is like some modern Les Miserables. <laughs> he's uh, ja Javert and he's uh, running after him. <laughs> Get him! Ooh. Shit. I can't be that far. No! Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, the only thing at that moment you can do is just stand there and be like, shit. <laughs> oh, it, it's over. Oh, they're, they're looking for Laurent now. <gasps> He's going to the Eiffel Tower. Okay. I think this was a really nice episode. Maybe like my favorite up to now no but the previous one was also really good i don't know they're all pretty good even though a lot of people are saying like this show is way better than the negan and maggie show i have to say i don't really agree with that the thing with negan and maggie is to me like they're both really interesting characters and their dynamic is just really interesting to me it didn't take much they just had to put them together create somewhat of an interest i mean the ending was shit but throughout the show i really enjoyed that show and for this show it took me a while to get into it i think also because the only character we already knew was Daryl and now he has to like kind of make new friends and, and stuff like that. But now we just get to know a bit more about the new characters too and um, like the more you get to know them the more interesting it gets. But I don't think I agree that this show is like way better than that city, no. What I like about this show though is that um, they're in this new part of the world and 
uh, we kind of get to see how stuff is there. So that's really interesting to me. And just the way people keep coming up with all these creative ideas, actually. Like, they just build a whole nightclub underground. And, um, like, all these community. It's like people always come up with ways to, like, yeah, make things more fun. Ways to live. Ways to, like... Uh, yeah, have some entertainment. So that's just really nice to see. So up to now, I'm, I'm liking their journey. Um, it's just every time Daryl wants to go home. But the thing is, he never seems to get home. There's always something holding him back. I think that's the whole idea of this show right now. Like Daryl is in the end. I don't know if he's actually going to stay with them. But for the rest of this season, at least he's going to stay with them, obviously. Because they can't really find a passage back. And then they finally think they found a passage back. And then it's the annoying ex who's like, oh, by the way, that's my son. Like, this is so wild to me. Because like I said in the previous episode when he was like, yeah, we need to leave her behind. I was already like, that is such an asshole thing to do. To like, leave your girlfriend's pregnant sister behind how can you even suggest that of course she's not gonna want that and then in the end to find out that she was actually pregnant from him and then still like knowing that and still wanting to leave her that is so fucking wild to me oh my god like i already hated him now i hate him even more yeah and then of course in the end he told uh like the the bad guy where they were so they're after them now and um they finally found a nice place to sleep and, and yeah, to continue their journey in the morning. But yeah, I mean, these things also constantly have to happen for Daryl to have a reason to like still stay with them. So yeah. Oh, I totally forgot about that beginning scene. People are talking about that. Like the guy who had the whole orchestra, people are calling it a walkestra. <laughs> um, that was so insane. <laughs> This is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh no, yeah, that that was wild. Um, yeah, I, I I gotta say, I feel like the the vibe in France is so different than the apocalypse vibe in America. Like these people are finding all sorts of crazy ways to live and, um, like I said, have fun and just create a fucking Walker Orchestra, create a nightclub downstairs, like. They are thriving in this apocalypse. I love to see it. So yeah, I, I read a few comments about what other people think, but there's not uh, a lot there yet because I mostly watch a day early. So yeah. But yeah, I think that was my reaction. I think I said everything. Um, I was very amused by this episode and the preview looked very good for the next one. So I'm excited to see that next week. So let me know what you thought of it. And like I said, if you want to see my full reaction, check out my Patreon. And if you liked it, then please leave a like, subscribe. And then I really hope to see you next week. Bye.